All right, comfy? I am. Okay. Can you give me your name and your title? My name is Lynn Coles, C-O-W-L-E-S. I am a graduate student in the Master of Library and Information Science at University of Southern Mississippi. And um, I am on the board at the Spectrum Center. And I am an LGBTQ activist as well as a feminist. Okay. Uh, uh, did you organize this event or who organized it? No, this event was organized by what is called the Women's March Huddle Hattiesburg. And these are the people that organized the Women's March in Hattiesburg that unfortunately got canceled because of the tornado. Um, and I was to attend that a, a meeting last week and I was to attend and was unable to. So one another activist that I know, Taylor Vines, attended, and he's the one who actually asked me to uh, MC the event. Oh, okay. Uh, do you think this was a uh, good, uh, good turnout? I think it was, it was a very good turnout. Um, <laughs> we live in a red state. Okay. Uh, do, do you think there was uh, a lot of, of the issues that, that were... Uh, being represented well, you know, here in the crowd and, uh, and then you get to, like, are high, and then know, just, uh, um, of concern to the general public? It, yes, I do. Like, um, um, Mississippi college, has real like, you know, problems you know, with health care coverage. And <laughs> because under the Affordable Care Act, um, politicians were, government officials were allowed to decline uh, assistance with Medicaid, increasing Medicaid funding from the federal government, many people in Mississippi do not qualify for assistance with their insurance. Um, we have a large number of immigrants here, and as Melinda mentioned, we're going to lose a lot of money as the immigrants are, undocumented immigrants are deported. Um, All right. Well, yeah. Thank, thank you very much. Sure. You're welcome. Right. Sure. Yeah, what's your name and your title? I'm Melinda Medina, M-E-L-I-N-D-A, Medina, M-E-D-I-N-A. I'm the community organizer for the Mississippi Immigrants' Rights Alliance, MIDA. Uh, can you uh, explain why uh, a uh, Latino or Hispanic population has concerns that were brought forth today? Um, well, their concerns are the separation of their families, uh, being targeted for acts of uh, violence, um, especially by uh, federal agents, right, because they are protected. <laughs> and so um, they're also, you know, not being able to provide for their families, right, because they can't go to work because they're going to be picked up from work or not being able to send their children to school because they're worried they're going to be picked up from school. So. In the state itself, there's been uh, reports of, of uh, Latino or Hispanic communities uh, uh, facing violence and being afraid to... Uh, contact the police. Oh, absolutely. Do you think that's even more so now with uh, the political climate? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you are targeting a vulnerable people who already face, who are already targeted by others, right? And so when you say, okay, so police are going to arrest you now, they see you, or they find out you're undocumented, would you report yourself? Like, right? I mean, if you're a thief, would you report yourself, right? So, I mean, although in my eyes, they're not criminals, but in the eyes of our government, they are. And so if they are targeted uh, for any kind of hate crime or any kind of violence or just for any kind of crime at all, they they will not report to the police. They already have trouble doing it now, especially women who are victims of domestic violence, which there's a program that helps them get legal status. So imagine if they cannot report to the police, they're not going to get the assistance that they need. Uh, the, uh there were a bunch of uh, raids earlier in the week uh, in Jackson, Mississippi, and uh, they said the investigation had been going on for a year, but do you feel like uh, the uh, raid happened because of the current political climate, or do you think, uh, or do you think maybe they're uh, saying that it's been a year long when really they're just now trying to take bold action? Oh, yeah. I believe that these raids were triggered by the political climate at this moment. 
um, because if it was just like one incident, like if it was only the state of Mississippi who had done the raid, then I'd say, yeah, maybe, you know, Mississippi did it or, you know, but it was something that was going around like nationwide that day. There was nationwide raids that day. And so, yeah, this was something that they planned most definitely, but they didn't plan it last year. They planned it to happen right now. As a, as a minority, do you feel that uh, Palazzo is doing a good job of representing your community? Oh, absolutely not. He is not doing a good job of representing our community. I think I, he's even said things like, uh, you know, he, he doesn't like illegal immigration. Well, give us an make an alternative to it, right? Uh, you don't like illegal immigration, then, then fix it. What can we do to fix it? Don't be just saying you don't like illegal immigration or you don't like illegal immigrants. Tell me how you can, do, what you're going to do to fix it. You know, and, and I'm not talking about, uh, you know, orchestrating raids and, and moving ma people out of the country in masses. I'm talking about, you know, a law that'll help them to so get citizenship. It sounds like uh, um, your opinion is that Palazzo is trying to sweep things under the rug rather than deal with the issues and fix the problems. Yeah, he's running away. Okay. Right. Like, uh, you know, like when a dog puts his tail in between his legs <laughs> and he runs off? Yeah. Okay. Exactly like that. <laughs>